Welcome back. Like I was pointing out, uh, in the last 10 minutes, we have seen a uh, decent enough surge in the bank nifty, which was in the red and has now moved 200 points higher. And a couple of other stocks which stand out apart from the bank nifty, one is Nuvoco, uh, again from the cement pack. It's uh, up 10% now. And Mazgaon Dock is the other one, which is, which is seeing a very sharp move, 7% higher on Mazgaon Dock. So a lot of these individual names moving around in trade. Uh, Time for D-Street chatter. Nimesh, of course, is going to tell us uh, what's happening in the dealing rooms. He is uh, there at the Motilal Oswal conference. So, I guess today uh, he may not have, you know, needed his phone. Uh, must have got all the information there itself. Uh, Nimesh, tell us what have you picked up. Hi, you know, it's good to be back on the floor, you know, attending a conference, meeting a lot of fund managers. So the initial feedback from a conference point of view, one, the corporate commentary is very strong, and B, most of the fund managers do expect the earnings are going to be quite resilient. So that's the initial feedback of, who, of you know, some fund managers whom I've spoken to. Now, from a market's point of view, the feedback is very clear. Uh, you know, it's going to be a volatile week ahead of the FMC meet, so that's going to be very crucial uh, for the Indian markets. In terms of flows, uh, a bit muted in today's trade because uh, not only from the FIs, even the domestic activity is quite low. And one of the reasons could be most of the fund managers seems to be quite busy attending uh, multiple conferences. So that, that's the overall feedback. Uh, well, within the, within the sectors, I guess the one sector which is really well bid, and that's where the leadership seems to be, is the financials. Every day, you know, the feedback is that the banks are well bid, and that's the case today as well. A bit of churn within sectors as well, so metals are uh, is seeing some bit of profit booking. But today, for a change, there is, there is there's a bit of interest back in the FMCG sector. So that's playing up a bit of a catch-up game. In terms of technical levels, I guess still, you know, the Nifty is in the range between 17200 and 17800. So that's going to be that range for this week. But as I said earlier as well, the Fed meet and the outcome will be very crucial for the Indian markets, at least in the short term. Okay, all right. Namesh, what about individual stocks? What are you picking up? So, Nigel, in terms of individual names, the first target is uh, adva uh, advanced enzymes. Uh, there is a large block deal of 2.5% equity changing hands. Uh, the feedback that I'm getting is most likely the promoter entity is a seller in today's block deal. So, the, the disclosures will be quite interesting to watch out for today evening. So, that's the first one. The second stock is PNB Housing. You know, that stock is up in trade. Up last, last when I checked, it was up 8 odd percent on good volumes. I guess the city is now looking forward to a concrete roadmap in terms of fundraising for PNB Housing. So, that's going to be a key trigger. And maybe that's the reason why the street is a bit excited on PSD, on PNB housing today. So that's the second one. And the last stock uh, in, is uh, uh, is Jain Irrigation. Again, a small stock, but buzzing in trade up five percent last when I checked on good volumes. And the buzz is that maybe the company is going to bag a very large order very soon. So that's keeping Jain Irrigation exciting in today's trade. Okay, Nimesh, thanks a lot for that. Uh, by the way, since you referred to PNB housing, I just looked at Campion Homes once again. Eight percent down now on Campion Homes uh, and uh, counting.